All right, hello everyone. Uh, this is Beza here with Payne doing our first Battle Pirates Crib walkthrough on a brand new account on Congrega. Um, so I'll just let Payne sort of introduce what we're going to do while I get set up. Yeah, so basically, um, you know, obviously, like you said, it's a new account, as you can see here on his screen share. Uh, it's never been touched. It's on Congregate, so it isn't against the rules or terms of service, if anyone's wondering. You can have at least, well, you can have only one account on each different type of platform, for example, Facebook, Kickside, Congregate. Um, so that's what we're doing today. We're going to start by showing you in this first video how to how to start the game, pretty much. So, you know, what the buildings are. A little bit of an explanation as to what everything does um, for you new players, and hopefully we're going to get our first fleet built and go out and kill something. Yeah. So guys, the the game starts here. Um, we couldn't quite capture the first bit, but basically it shows you some fleet coming in and killing a couple of your bits and pieces here. They've got the naval lab. Um, so yeah, this is where it starts. So repair all. The initial sort of just tells you what's going on here, makes you feel, makes you build your first turret, which is a howitzer. Um, do you want to skip the tutorial pane, or should we go through it? Uh, I think we should go, th we should go through it. Yeah, so well, here it's telling you to... It and we'll just give our own tutorial, actually. Yeah, yeah, we know what we're doing, we'll skip it. All right. Oh, change name. Uh, Battle Pirates Crib. It's got to be. Unless you want to call it, Pain Train is awesome. Oh, not crap. <laughs> right. um, oh yeah, these bits. I've seen these before. So basically what they do is they're going to give you um, some resources and bits and pieces at the start. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about going through and doing these objectives. Um, but yeah, they, they they pay out a little bit, but nothing really worth worrying about. And so if anybody's good. wondering who that chick is on the left, that is Zoe. Um, she's going to help us through all the kind of things at the start of the game. She'll, you know, she, she features a lot at the start of the game. Uh, but any bigger players who have seen the Zoe Stingray and have no idea who Zoe is, well, that's who she is. Right, so at the minute you can see that you start with a week-long bubble, yeah? So what that basically means is no one can hit your base within the first week of you playing, so you're safe. And we've got a message. You, if you pop your bubble on somebody else's, then you won't be protected. Yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, because we're playing on Congregate, we get given the Kong Marauder which is a pretty snazzy looking red one. This is exclusive to Congregate. If you play on Armour Games, then you'll get the Armoured Marauder, Marauder. If you play on Facebook or Kickstarter, you get Jackal. You do get the basic Marauder. Oh, is that... Uh, do you get a oh, yeah, regular Marauder? Yeah, you just, get, you just get the normal one. Oh, wow, look, it's glowing. That's pretty snazzy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is your fleet. So, this is in your dock. Yeah, these are the fleets you get. As you can see, you can hold 14, and um, at the minute we've only got one. To get more, you would upgrade your War Academy, which is this building here. Um, so if you have a look. At the start of the game, a lot of the upgrades are under five minutes. If it's under five minutes, you can speed it up. Um, it doesn't cost anything. So you'll see here, if I just click Start Upgrade, it's only 17 seconds, so I can speed it up for free. And a very um, important thing to mention as well, like you saw there, if, you, uh, if you're if you on a building, even if it's under five minutes, you don't want to press upgrade instantly because that will cost you if you have gold on your account. You want to start the build and then speed it up for five minutes. Yeah, if not, it pays the gold that it costs you to unlock the res that you need as well as the time. So always start it off and then upgrade it, unless you want to pay silly money for res. Uh, you ever bought res, pay? Uh, I haven't actually. I refuse to buy res. Yeah, res is, you know, back as, as, a, as a new player. If you play this as a new player, which you probably are, if you're watching this, uh, the the whole game has changed a lot over the last three to four years. So, whereas when we first started playing, it was really hard to obtain res. Uh, nowadays, it's openly available. Uh, I'd always recommend opening it, and we'll get into that and the reasons why later. Um, but if you're in if you're in quick need of res. There's always going to be someone who's opening, ranking up their ships. Yeah. So, I'll just show you here, guys. In the bottom left, you've got your comms. Uh, this is generally sort of where you can chat to other players in the same sector as you. There are 500 sectors in the game, and um, as you can see, we're in sector one, apparently. So, yeah. 
we've also got a message. This way you can send private messages to people. Um, we've got one off Captain Harlock, who's the Forsaken Captain. So, yeah. so where are we going to upgrade next then, Pete? I think we should go into the lab. So if we start with the naval lab, that yeah. we around. So here you've got your naval lab. This is where you unlock all the researchable ships. Um, there are 13 of them, all the way from gunboat, which you already have researched from the start, to hammerheads, which are the final researchable tech. Um, I don't know if Kane wants to explain now, but this this isn't limited to what you can get. Um, yeah, no, go for it. The, the ships, the ships in the game. There are many, many ships in the game now, and these are only a few holds. Once you get to a higher level, you'll find these holds are pretty useless, to be honest. But they're really good to get you on your feet. Um, a lot of these smaller holds are really fast and cheap repairs, so I recommend building a lot of them. We, again, we're going to get into it later. Um, but as you get on, there's different ways in which you can obtain ships. Uh, there's the, the monthly raids. Uh, you can win a prize by obtaining points, uh, hitting different types of targets in the monthly events. They pay out ships for your points, and you should redeem them. We also have weekly missions called the Forsaken Missions, and they have a, a four-tier prize system. And in each prize, you get a random prize, uh, some of which are ships. I think yeah. looking at that, you may be able to research a skirmisher while we're on here. Yeah, so yeah, inside the naval lab. Uh, and then this also has your forsaken armour. So there's sort of three types of tech in the game. You've got your forsaken, draconian and reaver tech. This is only forsaken tech because you are a forsaken captain. Um, so you see we've got iron 2, base armour which goes on your turrets when you get to a higher level and your ships. Um, so yeah, as Payne said, we're just going to research the skirmisher. Again, this is under five minutes, obviously six seconds, so it doesn't matter too much anyway. Uh, when you're first starting out, I'd recommend upgrading anything under five minutes that you can, it, um, and just get as much done as you can. While it's, while it's cheap and easy to do. You'll level up pretty fast by doing that. As you see, we've just gone up to, up to level two there. Congrats. So, We've now leveled up. <laughs> um, We've had our first Battle Paris birthday, as people call it. So yeah. Also, while we're on the naval lab, you see that you can upgrade this straight away as well. This will unlock the long ship um, and another armor. So we'll get that done. And see that we can research that, which is again only a minute. Now, in doing all of that, our resources have gone down pretty quickly. Um, we started off, I think, on 60,000. We're already down to sort of 20,000 each. But as Payne was saying... The best thing we should probably do is uh, is build some small ships, maybe get some res. Yeah. Before we run out completely. That so what we've got is the gunboat. Yeah, this is sort of the standard, easiest ship to build. Kicksire telling me that I should use a small cannon. Kicksire aren't the most helpful. We should talk through the shipyard actually while you've got it open, kind of explain what it is yeah. and how to use it. Okay, so this is the shipyard. Um, inside, you build your ship. You can only build one ship at once. Um, obviously, if your ships are instant build at the start, which, as you see, that would be a combined total of zero seconds, <laughs> um, then it doesn't matter so much. When you get later in the game, um, you'll probably be wishing that you could build more than one ship at once. And as Tyler was saying earlier about the different types of ships, you can see the tabs at the top there. The researchable tech is just the ships from that uh, naval lab that we showed you. The blueprint tech being the, uh, the the blueprint prizes, which would be all the ships you can win. Um, obviously, we have one there, which is our Marauder. It is only... Uh, I don't. We can actually build more of those, but we need to unlock the Marauder before we can build those, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Uh, and the limited tech is ships of which, simple blueprints, you know, you win and obtain a blueprint via a raid or a mission, and you can only build one of them. But that is a lot further into the game. You don't need to worry about that at the moment. Yeah. So, 
Um, I think we first need to build all, some ships. Yeah, um, so first of all, just before we build one, I'm just going to take you to the weapons lab because the first weapon I want is in here. So you can see they've got spud cannons are the first weapons that jump out. Um, these are fairly useful in the early stage of the game, depending on how quickly you advance, but really, these are sort of, normally the, you use these on your early builds quite a bit. Um, they're very good for military strongholds, which you get in the missions that come around every week, apart from on a raid week. Um, they're also really quick to build. Um, I'll just show you the stats on one here. So this is the Thud 4. Most importantly, you unlock it at level 2 weapons lab, which you see we could get up to now if we had, well, if we weren't now going to build some ships, we could um, get up to that. Yeah, it's it's a very it's a very easy weapon to build, like you say. It doesn't take long to get to that stage, and it can be used even up to people at my level. Um, and then you move on to the rapier missiles. Now these are generally pretty crap, even at the lower levels. But what you do need to research them, um, and I'll go into that a bit later on. The diplomat mortars here. They took a recent boost in the game. They've now got a longer range. Um, which kind of makes them a bit better, but again, generally not going to be your first port of call. I wouldn't have thought of the early, not for me anyway. I'm might have some better ideas for those. Um, I think I think we, as we go through the, the the videos, we'll talk about these weapons in more details as well as the ships. Uh, we don't want to bombard you with too much information that you can't really use at the moment. Yeah, but most important, this one, which is the Havoc Torpedo One. We need a um, three weapons lab. So, let me try and get that if we can. Because the Havoc Torpedo 1, it has a range of 75. Now, what that means is, it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a... Oh, oh, okay, we're not going to do that yet. Um, we need to get okay. some res. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you reckon then? Skirmisher with thuds? Okay. Yeah, yeah. We should be able to do a small cargo. Although is there, they, they could be some res open that we can just pick up real quick. Yeah. Okay. I'll go ahead. Um, I'm just gonna fill up my. Ah, uh, here we go. You also get the normal marauder, even though you found on congregate. Oh wow, that's interesting. I never knew that. Um, so yeah, there we'll add that in. You see that this here, this shows how much cargo you can hold. Um, so this is 270,000 that we can hold at once. You, got, you actually hold more if you hit a base. So from collecting salvages, that is 100% of capacity. If you hit a base, you can actually contain, uh, or carry, sorry, 500% of your res. And As that, you can see, there's a level 3 cargo open. Something for us to uh, collect. Yeah, all right, yeah. Let's go get that. So so Alex, like stealing res from him. Now. I'm, I'm hoping he's not going to want that too much. Oh, we, oh, we did run it. No. He did, he did run it. Well, let's hit the cargo, shall we? It's only a level yeah. one. Yeah, Le level, level three. Should we give it a go? Let's give it a go. All right, guys. So this is obviously our first... Our first just don't, just it, says, <laughs> it says we're in sector one. We're not in sector one. We're actually in sector two, five, six. Um, so, yeah. Let's have a look. Good luck in your first battle. <laughs> So this is what we're up against. These are <laughs> frigates, I believe. I think there's two frigates and a corvette. I don't know. I can't really see. It's a bit blurry. Yeah. Either way, very small ships. Very easy to kill. As a low level. They're kind of the equivalent of the skirmisher uh, for low levels. So while we've got a marauder in there, we're probably not going to face too and much problems are... with these. They are draconian. All the cargoes in the game are draconian. There are three factions in the game. You've got the Forsaken, who is us, the players, um, and there is also some enemies who are Forsaken, uh, which is, is further into the game. You've got the Draconians, who are the main enemy of the game, and then the Reavers, who are the newest enemy to the game and recently making their reappearance here in the January raid, which actually starts in a few hours as of recording this. Yeah. Um, so, so that was pretty easy to kill. It's filled us up 20, 21% there. Um, I'll, I'll just, a couple of more. 
Yeah, I'll hit, so I'll just hit another one and then we'll go through the sort of this basic strategy of driving. Which is I've a, just noticed we've leveled up to level five already. <laughs> Progression is quite quick in the um, early part. So, Nothing. first thing I want to do is hit the up arrow on my keyboard. That lets me select all the ships. I'm then going to click over to the side and they're uh, all my ships back together once they can get there. Yeah. Um, Fleet control is, is something we'll talk about in more detail in the in another video probably. I don't think we we've really got the time to, in this video. But in in essence you can see each fleet has a each ship has a number on top. Uh that relates directly to your keyboard. If you select numbers one, two, three, four, five, you can individually control the ship. You can also use your arrow keys or manually click on the ship. But like you said, the up key selects all ships, which is the main the main key you want to be using, really. Um, so I reckon take down one more of them, and then we'll send it back to the base and um, get some habits for research. I hope we have enough res here for for what we need. Yeah. We may have to build our fleet in episode two if it's not. <laughs> Um, not, I hope we're not giving the impression that this is very unplanned. <laughs> yeah, we we are live, so yeah, you know, neither of us have too much experience starting up the game from scratch. I haven't I haven't seen stuff like this in a very long time. I can't remember the last time I hit a cargo below fifty one. I may have autoed a small a few small ones from different time to time. And okay. So we've killed three now. That's going to fill us up 60% ish. Um, and with that, we'll send them back, prepare, and get some stuff done. You also took some damage, might I point out? <laughs> yeah, that that was, um, that was a bit of lag. Classic, yeah. Tyler is the uh, <laughs> for anyone who knows the people in the in in our group. He's defined as the noob of the group. <laughs> As defined by the way he lost almost half his fleet in a level 3 cargo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here, you want right, to exactly. talk about this, the docking screen? Yeah. Uh, so this is what you get when your fleet returns. Here you've got the VXP you obtain. And basically your ships can gain ranks as you collect VXP. Rank um, is this very is... important on ships as well. It, it gives you increased fire rate and increased turn speed. Yeah. Um, and it goes up to 75%. If you can imagine firing, that's almost twice as fast as what we can now. So rank is is a big part of the game. Also, this shows you how much res you've looted of each sort. Um, you always get less oil from salvages um, and up to higher amounts from Zimpium. Um, okay. Right. I think we're just going to have to build our first fleet here. Um, and then we that can will research. be... We can research some, uh, some more thuds, I think. Thud yeah. two and three? Yeah. yeah. Um, let's get that done. As you can see, these thuds researchers are fairly quick and easy. Um, right, so in your weapons lab you have your base weapons, your ship weapons and any rockets you can build. Um, just quickly to run through everything else that's on the map before I think we should call this first one day now and then um, get some more progress done next time Payne if that's all, yeah. if that's good with you. Um, so yeah on this map you can see that we've got on the face right you can see that we've got the dock here. We've also got the shipyard. So in the dock, you have your fleet, which we showed earlier. Um, so the repair button is here, which is why I took some damage, so I could show you that. Um, and if, again, anything under five minutes, you can speed up instantly, and that's done then. Um, the shipyard is obviously where you can build your ships from. Um, you can see that all these are locked at the moment, so we can build long ships skirmishes and gunboats at the moment. Here you'd fit on your weapons and here you'd fit on your armour. 
Um, this is your outpost. It's your central building, if you like. The idea is to protect this as much as you can. Um, outpost is also where you relocate your base. If you if you have any friends, I'm not saying you don't have friends, but when you develop friends who you want to move to, a lot of people move around in the game. It's where you you, you can actually move your base. I think just while you've clicked on that, you should probably upgrade your outpost. Yeah, so we'll start the upgrade here now. This this that lets you get um again upgrade the weapons lab there and the naval again, so that's quite important. It also gives you more tiles to design your base. These are your turrets. So when someone comes and hits your base, this is basically what's meant to stop them, yeah? At the moment we've only got three. Uh, we can probably build some more once the upgrade is done. You can only upgrade one thing at a time. But yeah, you can see now we can build six. Um, so that will help keep people out. Yeah, we don't have to worry too much about that. Obviously, we do have a week-long bubble, so yeah. you know the game progresses really fast at low level. So, it, it you know a lot is going to get covered in the next few episodes. You'll get a few fleets built, you'll level up quite a lot, um, and you know th at that point we'll start to talk about base design and your defense. Yeah, um, and these are your resource resource generators which you use to bank the res. So. Um, We'll leave that there for the first episode then, Payne, and then we'll go through more next time. Yeah, I think we should say, obviously, we've covered a lot. Um, it may seem confusing if you're, you know, if you are a completely new player and you're watching this to try and get some tips. Uh, we do have a Facebook page that you can like and follow us and get updates from. Um, we can put the link to that in the video for you. Uh, I'm assuming you've already seen that if you've seen the video. Uh, but if you have any questions, you can message us on the page and we'll help you. You can also leave a comment on the video and we'll respond to you on there as well. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, so yeah, that is Battle Pirates Crib's first walkthrough video. Um, cheers for watching and we'll see you again next time. Adios.